The next series of events is dealing with all the clever ways you, as the pilot, can break your black shark. The Huey has the amazing ability to fireball. You push its engines too hard on a temperate day, and it becomes a flaming comet in under three minutes. Now the Mi-8 and Ka-50 are different. Even in 50 degrees heat, I couldn't melt the hip doing whatever I could with its safeguards on. The Black Shark also never overheats, rarely exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius, which is not a problem. I even tried five sorties in the same airframe, landing and refueling with a full loadout and noticed no degradation in engine performance. This is with some full power takeoffs and keeping the throttle and collective maxed out for as long as possible. And this is because your electronic engine governors prevent the power turbines over speeding and reduce the fuel flow when the gas generator RPMs get too high. With it on, I haven't found a way with any combination of factors to overheat the shark. Okay, great. Don't forget the EG switches before spooling up the engines. Got it. See, the thing is, damage can also knock out your EEGs. You'll see the Kran message for left or right engine governor. Now is the time you need to start paying attention to your temperature. High collective can keep your temperature rising to an almost critical level to the point that one small mistake will spike it over the limit and melt you. Getting it to about 1065 degrees gives critical engine vibration. The vibration Watch warning in Ekran means that the engine's toast. Watch May still hold out for a bit, but typically vibration leads to engine failure soon after and possibly fire. I've seen that happen in 18 seconds from the EEG going out, but with maneuvers, that could be less. If you're lucky, the engine's not out yet, and you could return to base along a safe path where there's place to do an auto-rotation landing in case things get worse. As usual, this is not just reading from the manual or pointing out things you expect from the real helo, but things are observed from testing inside DCS. So these factors should be the ones affecting you in the current open beta. Now, while increasing your throttles from auto to full emergency power does almost nothing to increasing temps, lowering your throttles definitely reduces temperatures. So if your EEGs fail and you don't need the power, you can drop your throttles about halfway from auto towards idle, which is the governor fail position. There's no notch you can easily see, just eyeball it halfway down, but it is shown on the controls indicator. Otherwise, the best control is simply not maxing your collective power. Heat usually drops quickly. Some maneuvers, especially pitch forward dives, spike temperatures the first few seconds before stabilizing, which can push already high heat over the limit. For some reason, left bank seems to stabilize on slightly reduced temperatures, right bank a little higher than that, and level flight is the hottest, possibly outside a full power dive. The loss of lift at altitude seems to heat your engines up more than the drop of ambient temperature at those altitudes. And while the ambient temperature only mildly affects your engine temps, the loss of lift may lead you to pull more power to stay aloft, which in turn means higher temps. You may want to take a lighter payload on a hot day. Now if you're feeling sassy and you want a lot more engine power, while not strictly speaking doctrine, you could intentionally disable your EEGs. Just watch the exhaust temps. If you are playing some narrative campaign, then I guess this would story-wise bench your shark for maintenance after the sortie. But in a desperate pinch, you could do this for more power. Watch out when putting the EEGs back on though. If you are still full collective, putting the EEGs back on can snap your blades off as the limiters kick in again. Now overheating, in these limited circumstances, is not the only thing that can cause engine vibration. Hard collisions can instantly get engine vibration, and dust can cause vibration in a few minutes. This is Falk, and I hope I've shown you one case where your black shark misbehaves, which may seem random if you didn't know about it. Join me in the next vid on how to break your black shark with dust. Cheers.